Hi guys, I'm Eileen. So I've sold quite a lot of designer or luxury items from a collection over the last few years. But the pieces I'm sharing with you today are the more popular big ticket items. And in this video, I want to give you a review of each of these pieces, just so you know exactly why I decided to let them go. Hopefully that will help you make a better informed decision if you're interested to purchase any of these items. So without further ado, let's get started. The first item is the Cartier Just On Clue bracelet in yellow gold. I saw this bracelet earlier this year and so far I'm still very happy with my decision. I bought this bracelet after a lot of research, so it wasn't a light purchase. In fact, I did my due diligence for about 12 months before hitting the store and when I saw it in person, I was immediately sold because it's so exquisite and such a solid piece. That said, I know the Just Uncle collection is not everyone's cup of tea. I mean, some people might think it's a bit too edgy and bold, but for me personally, I think it's a very chic and unique design. That's why I have the ring as well, which I'm still wearing quite a lot. Now, there are three reasons why I sold the bracelet. First of all, I think the size I got was a bit too small for me. So I got it in the size 15, which is the smallest size and is the equivalent of size 16 for the love bracelet. It did fit okay, but it was sitting a bit high up on my wrist. And I actually prefer my bracelet to sit a bit lower. I think it looks more feminine that way. The second reason is to do with the design. So the nail head has a circular shape and the bottom half of the circle was digging into my skin slightly, especially when I was sleeping. Now this might not bother some people, but I was quite conscious of it. So I think that's why I stopped wearing it that much, especially after I bought my Irma CDC bracelet. So I would suggest if you are interested in this bracelet, really take your time to check the sizing and make sure it's comfortable before you pull out your credit card. The second item I sold is also from Cartier and is the Love Bracelet in yellow gold. I think Love Bracelet is beautiful and so well made. It has a very simple design, but you can just tell it's very substantial because it's made of solid gold. So I do love the Love collection. I think that's why I insisted on buying the bracelet, even though it wasn't a good fit for my lifestyle, which was really silly of me. Anyway, as you may know, you need the screwdriver to tighten the bracelet and you are supposed to leave it on. Well, for me, I don't wear my bracelet on a daily basis, so I was constantly removing it and putting it back on. In the end, it was just too much work and I stopped reaching for it. Nevertheless, I still think it's a beautiful piece of jewelry that will look good on just about anyone. If you're interested in the love bracelet, I would suggest to look at the pre-loved market as well because as I mentioned, you are supposed to wear this bracelet all the time, which means it will get scratches. So getting something with light scratches at a huge discount is not actually a bad idea. Cartier now also do the thinner versions of love bracelets, which are supposed to be easier to put on, but I'm not too sure about them either because I just don't want to have to rely on a separate part, i.e. the screwdriver to put my jewelry on. I've also sold my Hermes Lindy 26 and it was in a color called Sarge and with silver hardware. I think Lindy is generally a fantastic option if you're looking for your first Hermes handbag. It has a very unique design and it can fit quite a lot even for the smaller size which is the 26. I used to love how easy it was to access my things because the flap covers the opening fully. So it felt really secure even without zipping the sides. And if I needed something, I would just lift the flap and it's effortless. Another fantastic feature of this bag is that it's got two outside pockets, which are really handy for things like your phone and parking tickets. So overall, it's a fabulous bag from Hermes but I had to let it go because I wasn't wearing it much. Some of you know I love my neutral colors. So when I bought this bag, I thought it was neutral enough because it wasn't a bright green. In fact, it's a light green with a very slight gray undertone. 
but I actually had a hard time trying to pack to my outfits. So I think I made the right decision by letting it go. If you're interested in getting a Lindy though, I highly recommend it. But just make sure you get one in a color that will go well with your wardrobe because it's quite an expensive bag. Another item I've sold is the Louis Vuitton coin purse from the 2017 Christmas collection. That piece is so gorgeous and it's a functional small leather good as well. Now I'm currently using this one which is from the 2016 collection and I love it because it has a very flat profile even when you have a lot of coins in so it doesn't take up a lot of space. Also it's super easy to open and you have a massive access to the inside. The reason I sold the other one is because I don't want to have a lot of small leather goods in my collection now because I'm not someone who likes to swap small leather goods to go with different bags. I think it's a bit tedious. And um, I mean, this piece is very well made, so I'm sure it will see me through many years anyway. Another reason is because my husband and I have decided to put all our spending on credit card because we get cash back. Also, it's a lot easier to track our spending. So I think in the future, we'll be using less and less cash and coins. So it's a bit redundant to have two coin purses. Nevertheless, I think this is a wonderful coin purse. In fact, it's perfect every corner. Next one are the Chanel Classic Ballet Flats. I've heard a lot of good things about these shoes. Everyone says they are very comfy and worth every penny. I bought mine when I was on holiday in Amsterdam and I think I was just in a very good holiday mood so I bought them without thinking too much. Now these shoes look amazing in the box but they just didn't look very flattering on me. In fact, I felt a bit stumpy in them. I think one reason is because they have a very round cap toe design and I usually prefer pointy toes because they visually make your legs look longer. Another thing to bear in mind is that these shoes have quite a high vamp design which means the ladder comes up quite high on your feet which is not really a bad thing because more coverage means more support for your feet but I just don't think it complements wider or shorter calves like mine so I kept them for about two years before selling them brand new at a loss. I think the only thing I did right was not wearing them out because otherwise the damage would have been worse. That's why I always say on my channel that you should only buy what's perfect for you. It doesn't matter if something looks amazing on someone else if it didn't do the same for you. The next ones are two Louis Vuitton toiletry pouches. I bought my first one in the size 26 which I intended to use as a travel toiletry pouch but I just couldn't do it. I don't know, I think it was just way too nice for that purpose. I was constantly worried about spilling fluid on it like shampoo or conditioner. So I gathered and um, there's no point keeping it if it wasn't doing its job. The second one was in the size 15 and if I'm completely honest, I actually bought it because it was so cute. Also, I thought um, I would get a lot of use from it because the size is quite similar to the mini pochette which I use every day. But as it turns out, I prefer my mini pochette after all, mainly because this is in the Damia Ebane canvas. Personally, I now try to avoid the Vachetta ladder because I don't want to have to worry about water stain or if the patina will turn out the way I like it. So at least for small leather goods, Vachetta ladder will not be my ladder of choice from now on. The next item I've sold is a Chanel wallet on chain. I bought my walk completely on impulse about seven to eight years ago. To be honest, the walk wasn't even on my wish list but I was in Chanel on my birthday and my husband asked me to choose a present so I think I just got a bit carried away. If it's not bad enough already, I had to choose one in a bright red colour which is something I never ever wear so it was never going to work. That said, I think even if I did choose one in a neutral colour, I still wouldn't have kept it because I honestly don't see the appeal with these bags especially considering the price tag. 
first of all, I think it's just way too small to even fit essentials like sunglasses, keys, and hand cream. Now, strictly speaking, the walk is considered a small leather good, not a bag, but I don't think many people will need such a big wallet. So in short, it's too small as a bag and too big as a wallet. The second issue I have with the walk is that the chain is way too long. So the bag sat quite low down on me, even when I used it crossbody. There are videos on YouTube showing you how to adjust the chain, but I just really prefer to have a bag that's already perfect when I bought it. Another thing that doesn't sit well with me is the price tag because the walks now cost over £2,000, which is ridiculous because with the one I had, I can't say the quality was impressive. So I certainly don't recommend them. If you are interested in getting a wallet on chain, there are now many alternatives which are cheaper than the Chanel ones. So I would suggest to keep all your options open. I also previously had two Chanel Boy flaps. I bought the first one in the new medium size, which was a costly mistake because I actually wanted the old medium, but at that point, the boy flaps were fairly new and they were sold out everywhere. So basically, I bought the bag because of the fear of missing out. And it's no surprise I only use it a few times because it was way too big on me. I was really upset with myself for caving in, even though I knew it wasn't in the size that I wanted. So after selling the new medium, I started doing some research on the size small, which I thought I would love, but it wasn't the case either, so I had to sell it as well. I think my problem with the boy flaps is that the design is too boxy, especially when I use it crossbody. In fact, the design reminds me of a very thick book, and with the size small, it felt a bit like I was carrying a small dictionary. Anyway, I'm now very certain that the boy flaps are not for me. I still really enjoy seeing the new collections on other people, but I don't feel the urge to get one myself anymore. Last but not least, I sold my Louis Vuitton Montaigne MM in the black umpran ladder about two years ago. And this is probably the only luxury item I kind of wish I didn't sell because it's really a lovely bag. First of all, I really like the length of the shoulder strap because the bag dropped at a very good place around my hip area and it felt very comfortable to carry. The umpran ladder is fabulous as well because it's water resistant and so durable. Essentially, the Montaigne is an open top bag, so it's really easy to get your things in and out, but there's also a zip compartment uh, for more security. And because the compartment is sitting right in the middle, it really helps to keep the shape of the handbag. The only complaint I have for this bag is that uh, the shoulder strap is attached to the opposite ends of the handles on each side. So when I carried the bag using the shoulder strap, it felt like the bag was twisting slightly. But to be honest, I mostly use this bag as a top handle bag, so it didn't really bother me that much. The reason I sold the Montaigne is because I kind of stopped reaching for it after I got my Hermes Kelly 28. Both bags are quite similar in terms of space, and I was just more drawn to my Kelly. Again, I do miss it sometimes because it's a really nice bag to use, and I think it's good value for money. As you can see, I've made a lot of mistakes in the past, and it cost me a fortune. That's why I always speak about mindful shopping on my channel now, because just by being a bit more intentional, you can actually save yourself a lot of time and money. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. I will see you in my next one. Bye.